Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Napoleon Total War with a Pike and Shot mod. We're back here for another custom battle, and as you might be able to tell, I'm going to play as the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, and with that you might also be able to deduce who is my enemy, none other than the Ottoman Empire. This is the Savoy Hilltop map, I thought that was fitting, given the subject of this custom battle. In terms of my army composition, it's not very varied. We've got four units of winged hussars. Behind them, we've got six units of these musket men, as we can see, lined up and ready. And behind them, we've got six units of these lighter pikemen and uh, over here we got a few cannons but don't worry the Ottomans got a few cannons as well and though they've got a really big and really nasty 64 pounder no one else has anything close to those 64 pounder guns with that said let's go ahead and start the battle and obviously for this map, it's very important to gain a good foothold up on that hill. So we're going to move our troops up there as soon as possible. Oh, I can already see some of those 64 pounder shots flying through our lines. Killed six men out of that unit, five out of that. Interesting they start bombarding. Usually the enemy has a really hard time setting up the cannons. Oh, it's because they can't, like, limber them. They're so huge. Still managed to kind of screw up this cannon by placing it behind the rocks. But otherwise, not super bad positions. They also managed to scare this cannon a bit. In terms of what the Ottoman have, I've given them loads of Janissaries. Now these are some of the weaker ones with swords, but I've given them quite a few elite ones as well. Here we've got uh, the general riding about. Um, they're all, they all seem to be going somewhere else. The Tunisian musketeers is actually one of their top units. And we've got another uh, janissary moving in there. Look at those mustaches. Those really bright white ones. It's like a... Um, what's it called? Like a commercial for... Uh, toothpaste. I'm thinking we'll block off this area with three of these musketeers. Backed up by three pikes. And then... To back up the... Uh, high point here on the hill I'm gonna have my the rest of the army move there now we're gonna move the lancers quite a bit up here very high position the general close by now I think I hope this will work I might very well have to quickly move my general to support the infantry, depending on how that goes, because currently we have these uh, sword troops moving forward. I'm not too pleased with the fact that they're sending so many troops down through this area, because I was hoping they'd be marching up here, meeting me on the high ground, rather than them, you know, purposefully going for the low ground and getting stuck down in the woods. Could be the position of my uh, howitzers that are triggering them to go that way which I do not like. Have we destroyed, I think we destroyed one of their batteries almost or there's tons of shots going here we killed quite a bit of crew here and we just destroyed one of their 64 pounders Obviously, since there are only two, I thought there was going to be four in each battery, but there was only two. So obviously, they're not going to do as well as they might have done if they had full batteries. Now, I wish I could. I kind of want to move these, but if I move them, 
They, the enemy will get flank shots in on the batteries. And I'm pretty sure they will destroy them. Okay, so we have in fact destroyed one of the batteries. So, the cannons were able to do some damage to my uh, units. But just because I had more uh, cannons meant that... Uh, Whatever victory they had, it wasn't long lived. I'm gonna tell these guys to move it a little bit faster. So there's quite a bit of troops coming up here. It's all these sword infantry, so they haven't bothered sending any of their elite troops to deal with me here first. It's mostly these different kind of uh, archers and stuff. We've got pretty good position here. But I kind of don't want to be standing in the way for my lancers. So we're going to have a staggered position like that. And there's still room for the lancers to come down through here. Range of the musketeers is not that great. Still waiting for the enemy to close in. Oh, they have realized the mistake, it seems. And they are now running their troops back. That's going to tire them quite a lot. Which isn't a great plan. Keep bombarding the enemy's uh, cannons. The enemy here is halted, realizing that they're going to need more troops. Oh, interesting. I think the... Um, I don't know if it's it's a bug that we can't see them. Oh, now the fighting has started. We've some of our musketeers that open fire on the archers. I do think, though, the archers probably going to be uh, more effective than our men. Especially since it seems like just first rank among our troops are firing. So we had plenty of time to shoot at them. Yeah, they're definitely going to shoot us down if we don't add some troops onto this. So I'm going to send up secondary unit as well. Yeah, we're going to lose a lot of troops if we don't send in more troops. We're going to have two of these move forward to about there and I'm going to send up the pikes to support and then we're going to have one facing that side with a pike following behind. So now we have two units that should help out a little bit against the archers. Still not going too well is it? We're going to have these two actually cross over to this side. Still leave a good opening for my Hussars. And since the enemy is yet to actually advance on us, it's actually kind of okay right now. Even though it looks like in the long run this skirmish is definitely not going... Uh, is definitely not favoring us. The enemy is closing in. Papa pikes. Keep firing here. They're moving closer. More archers coming in. The lines are kind of perfectly spaced out here for me to uh, go ahead and do like a massive charge down the hill and we should probably not wait too long on it let's have the musketeers pull back hopefully this will not cause a mass rout our men are running for 
I think it's time to send in the uh, the hussars. Because there's quite a lot of enemies now coming this way. Let's uh, sweep them all away, hopefully. Damn! These ex those explosives were a lot bigger than I thought. The winged Azars are coming down the hillside. I don't care that much about those. Here we go, here comes the charge. The Sir. general leading the charge. Sir. Our general is under attack. Pah! Under attack. Have the musketeers pull back. And the... The, uh... I was about to say Lancers, but the pikemen move forward. The pikemen over there was broken. There was just too many uh, of uh, Our the, men uh, are running, oh. sir. The more troops over here that are running. I want to fire, give more fire to that side. And then also fire some on the troops that are coming down there. My stars stuck in to some fighting here. Can I get some shots maybe over on that unit? I was hoping you'd be able to get out of there. Okay, the pikes. Our men are running, sir. Oh no, they've completely overrun the position down here, more or less. I still have this pike unit ready to hold against them. Oh shit, we're firing on our own troops. Can I... We need to weaken some of those. And then hit these here. And I need at least one pike over there. With one going this way. And then... Can we get the musketeers to join in here? Looks like these guys are about to break, which is good. These just broke. So forward the units. Renew the charge. For the Polish Hussars. Slowly eating their way through the uh, Janissaries. I was trying to find, to see if I could find some, what's it called? Um... See if I could find. Uh... Sir, your general has been killed. Oh no! This is a black day. That's what I get for sending him straight in the middle. But we will renew our attack with him dead. I will order my men to go even harder on the attack against the Ottomans here and charge through even with the general dead the troops fight on pikemen are not doing that hot oh we were able to um, succeed here I don't know about going that way. We should probably help out here. And now my cannons are getting overrun. What are my lances doing? Is supposed to continue to go against the enemy. I think for the uh, Polish Lithuanians you probably need to make as a long as long lines as possible. Our men are running, sir. Oh, the, that's the cannons that are running now. Yeah. 
the enemy general just died. And I'm pretty sure that's all over for them. And we'll continue Our men are running for. to get rid of the enemy. Okay, that's about it for that. What we have left is the archers over there and we have one unit over there. So let's see, the very tired winged hussars are once again ordered to move. We've got Tunisian musketeers and some Barbary uh, infantry of some sort. So an pikemen against that unit. What's this? This is... I can't see what this is. Where, what unit is highlighted by this? Oh, this one. Go down and kill that then. And then musketeers can move that way. Let's have these troops move a little bit faster and see if they can get here before the enemy strikes. Our men are running for... Oh, pikes. They broke before they even got close to that cannon. Maybe no surprise. We'll send these two together down there to get that one unit. Was left of the general and his bodyguard and the rest of the winged hussars will line up f for hopefully one more charge here if they can get here in time it's going pretty slow send this pike unit down as well Before we are able to really get into a readied position, I will order the lancers to come down and charge our enemy head on. And even with that mighty charge, Glorious victories, huh? it's the enemy real. holds on. Soon enough, the I'm not sure why the Tunis this is one of their elite units. If they'd actually sent them in early on to properly, you know, shoot us, I'm pretty sure that was one of the advantages the Ottomans had. Is that as we've seen, our musketeers fire just first rank. The I'm pretty sure that's not really the case with the Ottoman ones and even if they did I'm pretty sure the accuracy and fire rate is a lot better among the Ottoman troops and there we have it victory was achieved even though it seemed like it went pretty well for us throughout I think a lot, a large part is thanks to the Hazars. They're such a strong unit, and they were able to just force their way straight through all these Ottoman troops. That still put up a very good fight. I was surprised also that my army held as well, even with my general dead. But there we have it. The Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth has won this fight. Let's go ahead and take a look at the statistics of this battle. How many kills did the Hussars manage to get? And here we have the general statistics. I deployed 2,900 men roughly against 3,600 of the Ottoman. 
where in which I lost 1,200, almost 1,300, and the Ottomans lost almost everything. They have about 600 men left um, out of that. When it comes to kills, we can see the artillery here, 100 each, 75 for this one. For the pikemen, 143 for the highest. Um, but most would rank around 50 or so. I'd say the average kill for the pikemen is about 75. We do have one that kind of breaks the mold there with 224. 23. Why did I say 24? I could clearly read a 3 there. Uh, the general deployed 50 men, lost 27, killed 211. First wing to Tsar here. Lost 70 men, killed 469. Second one, killed 400. Third one, 384. And then the last one there, killed 134. So we have one wing to Tsar almost getting 500 kills. In terms of the musketeers, it's very poor reading. We've got one that didn't manage to get a single kill where most of them, or at least a number of them, barely got over 30. The best one got 95, and we got one over at 65 or 68 here. So really poor performance of the Musketeers. But then again, only first line is firing, and the accuracy for these units is about 30, which for normal Napoleon is the equivalent of militia. So you can kind of guess why they're doing so poorly um, compared the uh, other troops. So there we have it. The Hussars <laughs> really carried the day. But that is to be expected. With that said, I'll say as I always say, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.